So okay, today is 11th October 2022, and ESBICM is completing four years of his journey. So I thought of sharing some thoughts about it, how we started, uh, what we are doing right now, and what are our future plans. So I've noted down certain points which I think are very important, and these are memorable events, uh, memorable milestones in the journey. I want to share with you all. So basically, when I was doing my fellowship in critical care. i was very lucky to have very good teachers uh, those who taught me how to apply the bookish language uh, bookish knowledge at the patient bedside and that to in the intensive care unit so i think i was the person in the batch who was the most uh, junior and many people uh, with me were more trained than me so it took time for me to read the concepts to imbibe them and to apply them at the patient bedside but i enjoyed a lot and also i found that the icu residents and the nurses the critical care nurses who are working in the icu they play a major role in treating the patients but many of them are not enrolled in any course and they don't get enough time because of the double shifts or uh, busy schedule to read the concepts in detail they learn by what the seniors are saying they learn by what tips the colleagues are giving them and then when i learn and if they want to learn they need to join a structured course but most of them don't join and they keep working then also when i joined as a full time intensivist in a tertiary hospital i used to receive calls from uh, many small hospitals in the town and the state uh, for certain opinions and what i found that everybody there wants to learn and when you help them they feel very happy and it ultimately benefit the patients so i felt that the there are n number of icus in the city in the state in the country and across the globe where many people the nurses and residents are working and they are learning just by doing the work and applying the medicine part into the critical care uh, from what their seniors and what their friends and what those who are working in the icus are uh, telling them there is no structured course for them and if even if they are there are eligibility criteria there are they are paid courses but uh, there is no teaching which which is easily or freely available to them which they can apply at the bedside so i thought of starting uh, a society which will provide this bedside intensive care medicine thing whatever i know at that time i want to share with anybody who is working in the icu across the globe with that idea we founded ESBICM educational society of bedside intensive care medicine then one very important point i want to share you then when it was uh, being formed uh, there was a thought was given about uh, what will the membership fee how will charge how will make this society sustainable if it has to provide the knowledge across the globe so my mother said that if the purpose of the society just to uh, provide knowledge to each and every person who is working in the icu whether it is in a small town a small icu or within a tertiary institute learning advanced skills we will not charge anything we will not charge even a single penny from anything uh, from anyone who is working in the intensive care unit and who wants to learn because if suppose uh, you provide certain info or information and across the globe in a small town if that uh, fellow uh, is working and he gets that knowledge freely available and he then applies to the patient his career will also evolve and the patient will also get better more uh, in a faster way this will impact so many lives so my mother is the treasurer of the society and she decided that till we are alive and till esbicm is there we will not charge even a single penny from anyone whether it's a nurse or doctor or healthcare professional for anything which esbic is providing so we never charge for anything on esbic so my question was to her whether it will be sustainable so she said that if we are doing a good work the universe will help and it will make the society sustainable and fortunately we are four years now and the society is still growing and it's uh, every year we improve from what uh, we were in the last year
so that's where we started now after foundation uh, in 2018 we started taking cmes cmes were common those days and luckily our cmes were purely academic at times we don't even provide dinner in the, those cmes only tea or coffee was there but fortunately the seats were full we don't charge anything but we wanted that everybody who wants to come should come uh, on time and uh, should pre allot their um, uh, uh, seats give their names so early we started with 10 people then they grew to 20 and up, it came to a point that beyond 50 we can't accommodate uh, so cmes were very uh, encouraging but what i realized that after cmes if somebody has doubt they can ask there but nobody no facility was there that they can rewind and see those things so that was somewhat there in my mind at that time uh, and slowly what we did was we started taking lectures in our icus also uh, in icu there was also the problem because of the residents and the nurses were having different different shifts so it was not possible for them to come uh, to attend each and every session and to rewind and forward and listen back so what we did was if you can go on the channel and see my first video what we did where we just kept our mobile and the mic and we recorded like that <laughs> so that whole lecture of mechanical ventilation uh, i think it's on mechanical ventilation uh, we recorded uh, that and we thought that we'll share uh, with everyone but the problem that arose was uh, it was a big file we didn't have any platform for, at that time to share how we'll send this file to everyone so i thought of putting in on the youtube i didn't knew many much more many thing about the youtube at the time but i uploaded that on the youtube and then shared the link with my residents and nurses at that time so it was very helpful they can rewind listen and everybody in our hospital and icu those who were interested then can go through that uh, video but what i found that slowly uh, we were started getting comments from other hospitals across the city state from the country and slowly across the nation also we start getting comments they they were asking doubts and they were finding it very useful so what we did were we started recording each and every lecture and we put the lecture on the youtube as it is i don't know even editing at that time we just recorded and uploaded that's the way we are doing but uh, that that gave us a real boost that now i got a point that there is a platform where we can share uh, this information and go across globally so earlier the channel's name was um, bedside intensive care then uh, we it's uh, we changed it to regular crisis because everyone who is working in the icu is facing the crisis regularly so regular crisis and now it has evolved to the icu channel uh, by ispicm which you people are watching right now and over a period of time we acquired icu.in also uh, we acquired it from netherlands i thank to that person who, who released this domain for us uh, so uh, and the tagline of icu.in is sharing what's critical so we'll, we only provide that info which is very critical and for the patients for the workers for the healthcare professionals who are working we uh, we could concise that information and we'll share what is critical and we share what we know so that's where icu dot in started so but in between this four years two years covid came so in covid all the cmes on the all the physical icu lectures get stopped we need to maintain the social distancing all all everything was stopped and our classes also get hampered then we thought of taking online classes whenever we get time everybody was busy in taking care of patient rises their full lots of calls but at that time also we thought of taking lecture one once a week or twice a week or even in a month and you won't believe we take lectures from the home and we get up from the bed and just sit in front of the zoom meeting or any platform and we recorded it like that even that people like even that people across the globe found it useful i made some lectures on covid also we were very much appreciated at the periphery and people were getting benefited so we thought that this is a good idea people not 
not interested in how you you are looking how the background is how how, how uh, the quality of uh, video quality is there but they just want the content to be good if the information is good they were very happy and uh, they were getting benefited so we thought that uh, we'll record the lectures whenever we'll get time and upload in the on the channel so that's why the frequency of videos on the channel start growing now on the channel we found that this is only a one way communication means we are uploading something you people are uh, listening and some people may ask the doubts in the comment section there was not a way to interact in a detailed manner where things can be discussed in a detailed manner so we came up with the website on uh, icu.in and we installed the forums the forums forums icu.in forums are a place where you can ask any question regarding ic or emergency department and we try to explain or answer you in a detail manner our team members also uh, uh, pops in and also the members of the forum replies to you so chances of getting a faster reply and a detailed reply is better on the forums in the comment section on the youtube though small small doubts can be clarified but and those doubts are usually in the comment section as related to that particular video but to ask anything then icu dot in forums are a great form great platforms registration is free on that you can go then uh, we started telegram group the purpose of telegram group was to have personal connect with you all so that where we can take your advice we can share what we are planning we can small put small small images we can small small audio files so that uh, in day to day practice if you are facing an issue or we want to share some very short uh, points we can share on the telegram so that telegram channel we started and it's growing the all the links which all the things which i am mentioning all the links are in the description we have uh, mentioned them then uh, somebody uh, in our members suggested that you should also use instagram platform uh, where instagram on instagram we used to post we recently very recently we joined instagram and on that we point the spot diagnosis sort of pictures like um, uh, image of an x ray malpolution line or pneumothorax or ecgs or anything like that so i think the light has gone not not issue so like that so the, the instagram we are using uh, but now we after uh, continuing on this time we will be posting the play card sort of info cards like sort of things instead of images we'll post info cards with, so that when you are scrolling within few seconds you get some important input and you can then move on on telegram group we'll post those images for diagnosis sort of things on telegram this is uh, in view of all the opinions which we got so inst- on instagram we'll post the info cards like for example uh, for by inspiratory pause you get uh, blood to pressure by expiratory pause you get intrinsic peak sort of things now what we also found that now slowly and slowly many people across the globe now uh, now our channel is being viewed by india pakistan bangladesh nepal sri lanka bhutan germany norway jordan japan uh, us uk australia and many more the list is growing uh, philippines fiji you know, many places and people from everywhere wants to contribute they want to join this platform they want to provide their knowledge they want to share their cases so now next what so in the coming years what we are planning we are doing three four things first will be will assigning academic volunteers account academic volunteers will be country wise will be state wise will be city wise so that those academic volunteers can if they have something requirement in the institute or among the colleagues if they want some topics to be discussed they want a class on that we can provide free classes to them online of course uh, and now how these classes will be one will be is youtube stream which i am exploring on youtube live streaming everybody can join and see but still the communication doesn't remains that one to one we can just listen to the chats and reply but it can be viewed across the globe so uh, youtube live stream will starting secondly 
will have a zoom platform it will be a closed group uh, so that one to one communication can be done but on zoom platform only the esbm members will be allowed to join because the platform limits the number of participant and for esbm membership you don't need to pay anything you just go on the esbm.com website and there is a link for esbm membership form just fill it that's it we just want their their curiosity to learn is more than important for us so this zoom platform will be given invite only to esbm cm members so academic volunteers uh, form will be start soon and we'll announce on the website so people across the globe will we want to get uh, in a network so that we need to provide the information specific to their needs suppose in fiji they have a different need in sri lanka they have a different need in even in uh, india different different states they have different needs suppose um, um, zika is coming or suppose leptospira is particular in common or poisoning is somewhere common or malnutrition is common in a particular place so and somebody wants to learn ventilator specifically in their unit so these academic volunteers with coordinate with us and they can represent us they can be part of esbicm and they will help in uh, moving this uh, movement forward so that we can reach each and every person who is working in the intensive care unit now also i, I have opened up my email personal email dr ankur at esbicm.org on which you can share your cases you can share your interesting cases which you want to share and we'll discuss that and we'll upload on the channel so that everybody across the globe can be benefited now one thing i want from you all is your support in making this esbicm reaching each and every part of across the world we, i want not by money i want that you people should share this channel or share this website or share this platform with your colleague especially nurses critical care nurses and icu residents whom you whom you think that it will be very useful for them if they learn some info they this will help in their career growth also this may help uh, have a major impact on the patient they are treating we just want you share this channel name share this website and share this info that there is a platform available which is free of charge which is providing the bedside intensive care medicine free of cost to each and every person who is working in intensive care unit so these were my some thoughts on this so today is fourth anniversary and we are more than 25000 people on the channel and when we next e- meet next year on same day i hope uh, this moment will be more much bigger than what it is right now thank you share your suggestions and blessings with us in the comments thank you